Let's look at tubes and drains. The first one is the Salem sump tube. This one is a 16 French. Okay, so the, with the French size, the bigger the number, the bigger the tube. Okay, 16 is pretty average size for an adult. You take the tube out of the package. It looks like this. It has little holes at the end, multiple holes. And that's where the fluid gets sucked up from. Has markings. This is a radio opaque tube. That means when you take an x-ray, it shows up on the x-ray. This blue part is called a pigtail and it is for an air vent. Some people mistake it as a separate line for other things, but that is wrong. It is only to have air go in and come out when it is in the stomach. The purpose of that is to keep this tube from sucking the side of the gastric wall. If we suck the side of the gastric wall, it can create ulcers, so that will help prevent ulcer creation. This is also why we put the tube up here above the patient's stomach because of gravity. So if we had it below, then stu stuff in the stomach would come through the tube and go up and down and out of the pigtail down here. That's why we keep it up high. This part is just a connector piece. It is open and it just helps things stick together. You can put your suction tubing on top of that or you can clamp off your tube and have it just like that. You always want to start with it like this when you're putting it in a patient so it doesn't have gastric contents come back up and out of here while you're inserting the tube. That would be a mess. So that is the Salem Sump Tube. It is used for stomach gastric decompression, which means to relieve the stomach of air or fluid contents. The next thing I'm going to show you is a JP drain. JP drains are inserted into patients who've had surgery and they're having a lot of extra drainage and fluid from that surgery, so it will help um, create suction on that area and drain it so it doesn't accumulate in the body. To operate the JP drain, it's a negative pressure vacuum. To activate the vacuum, you open the little knob here and you squeeze it and I do have it in a cup so you can see how this works. So once you squeeze it and then you're supposed to take an alcohol pad and wipe it off then you replace the top and when you let go it creates a negative pressure and then it pulls the fluid or blood or whatever it's sucking up into the JP drain. It's also called a Jackson Pratt Jane drain, but most people just say JP. Okay, so to empty the JP drain, you just unopen it and it will inflate. Don't use these to measure. It's not quite accurate and it's hard to tell. You'll get a measuring cup device and you'll just squirt it out to measure it, okay? It's usually measured once a shift and it goes into I and O intake and output charting. So then you'll also wipe it off, plug it, activate your suction, plug it back in, and you know, make sure that it's connected to, um, not hanging off the patient, okay? Then you can measure that and chart it. So let's look at what it looks like inside the patient. I'm going to pull it out here. Eee, okay. So this is what the JP drain looks like inside the patient. So this whole white piece is inside and then it's sutured right here around to the patient's skin. It has a bunch of little holes in it where the fluid can accumulate and when you activate the suction it sucks it all in. It's pretty cool. The other kind of drain, it works exactly like this one does, but it just looks a little bit different, is the wound drainage reservoir, also called um, or a hemovac. This one is this kind with the accordion style. 
It works the same way. It's just really big and bulky. You'll see these on larger wounds. Um, uh, orthopedic style wounds will have these type of drains. It has a smaller tube usually and um, it is inside the patient in the same manner and you work at this the same way. So this one has the clamp on the top so you would open it then you would empty it you know into your measuring device you empty it, squeeze the accordion down. Just make sure that you're protecting your eyes as you're squeezing this. You would wipe the lid off and you would clamp it back. And then when you let go, that creates the suction. So it works exactly the same way, just different style. And that is all for um, the drains. Make sure you document how much you got out, what color it is, and, and, and um, and it goes on the output for I and O records.